Hello YouTube, Make Mine Marvel here with another unboxing and uh, quick review. This is the new Sideshow Captain Marvel exclusive premium format, number 934. Alright, let's, uh, let's get this baby open. So, opening up the box, you can see that they uh, just put a little thank you card in here, I believe. Uh, I think it's a thank you card, just a piece of plastic. Yeah, that's all it seems to be. It's just a, just a thank you card um, in all the languages of probably all the different uh, countries and nations that they, that they sell to and ship to. Not sure why they actually put it in a plastic bag. Um, just a piece of cardboard, but whatever. There's also on the outside of the box, there was also a $20 off coupon selected uh, items. Okay, so I just took the top off the styrofoam. Uh, real quick initial uh, inspection. Doesn't appear that anything is broken. Everything looks uh, looks well packed, but we'll take this out and, and take a look at it. All right, so base has got some real nice weight off from it. Uh, you can see it right there, 934 to 1500. Again, this is the exclusive edition. Let me put this down and give you guys a look at it. So I'll give you guys a quick view and spin around of it. When I get the whole statue fully assembled, we'll talk about paint and quality um, and sculpt and everything. But just kind of want to give you guys a look at the statue without the, or the base without the statue in it. So you can, you can get a better look at it. Uh, it does have, um, I don't know, it looks like the, maybe inside of some kind of spacecraft or something. Um, yeah, let me see where the, uh, where the pegs go in. Like how you did the, uh, semi-clear, uh, you know, opaque resin for the eyes. All right, let's get the rest of the statue out. I'll start with her body. Okay, I lied. We're not going to do the body first. Uh, we'll do some of these pieces to the base. This piece here uh, is in this slot right here. We can get in the box, and uh, it goes on. If you're looking at the base on the right side, uh, you can see a little hole right up in there. And it's just a peg, not a magnet. And that is that piece in there. It's a tight, uh, tight fit. It does go all the way in, but the, you know, it's a it's a nice tight peg, so it's not, no need for a magnet, it's not going to fall out. Alright, next piece of the base is right in here. And that goes on this side, on the left side, right up in, right up in here, I believe. So again, uh, peg, hole, no magnet. Let's give it a shot. Again, a real tight fit with that peg, but it's uh, it fits in there real snug. You can barely, barely see. They did a great job. Um, yeah, there you can just see the separation of the two pieces. But, um, you know, unless you put it together and you know where it is, you would never see that. on, And that's on the back side anyways. Front side, um, obviously, looks seamless. Okay, for the body, she has a peg coming out of her shin. And the hole right there at the top all right before i put this in um i haven't even tried it yet but just want to show that a lot of the problems some people have been saying is that the metal peg in the shin has come bent uh, you can see there's a slight curvature to mine maybe you can see it yeah a little bit so i don't know how this is going to fit in that's really been the only problem i've been hearing with this statue it doesn't you know maybe the peg doesn't seat all the way but we'll give this one a shot well, as you can see, absolutely no issue whatsoever. It's, a, again, a night, another tight fit to get in there. But uh, as I was putting it in, I was giving it slightly a little bit of wiggling uh, back and forth to work the pin in there. And you can see her shin goes right up against the base, perfectly flush. Um, we'll go over here, too. Yeah. So just kind of give you guys a shot all around. But, yeah, it's, it's in there. 
it's there perfectly. Nice. I was worried about that. All right. So the rest of the pieces are just uh, two pieces of her costume. Um, you know, a little uh, kind of a cape thing around her waist and the regular and exclusive head. The exclusive being the, the masked portrait. Uh, you can see here on the side of her hips where those pieces go. So get those in there, get the regular head on, uh, give it a look around, and then um, we'll talk a little detail on the statue. Okay, and there is Miss Marvel, or Captain Marvel, excuse me, in all her beauty. And uh, that's uh, definitely an understatement. This piece is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and it's tall, too. I Kind of uh, deceiving. I didn't realize how tall it would be. But uh, let's get you guys some close-ups. So the regular head um, got her kind of looking down a little bit, which is nice since it is a tall piece. I guess if you kind of put it waist high, and she's kind of staring you in the face a little bit. But we'll see. I don't have it have it displayed where I'm going to have it displayed yet. Um, it's definitely nice. Great job with the with the face, the eyes, beautiful head sculpt. I think they could have painted the hair a little bit better. Um, you know, it's just basically all one color. It's, uh, you know, sandy color. Not a whole ton of highlights or shading to it. But as far as the sculpt goes, it looks natural. Now, I liked how they mixed up the colors a little bit here. So, all the, all the reds and the boots, this um, part of her cape here, her shoulders and her gloves are all that one maroon color and they gave a nice little different texture of a, a more of a shiny metallic red um, on a, what I you know guess would be little pieces of armor over her hips um, these are the only two pieces well I'm sorry these two pieces are held in my magnets as well as the um, the heads are held in my magnets everything on the statue is fully sculpted these feel like um, they could be uh, more of a, a plastic as opposed to a polystone uh, probably, you know, for, for preventing its breakage a little bit better. Um, again, all this, this part here, all sculpted. They did a great job. It's a really natural, nice pose. Looks like she's flying right at you after she just, uh, devastated whatever that was. Base is nice too here. So here's a little um, overspray on the back of the base. Um, you know, not sure if that's intentional because of, you know, the battle damage look I, maybe they're trying to go with. Um, you know, they probably could have cleaned that up and just kept it all black. They didn't probably need the overspray on, on that. But I can see where they shaded a lot, a lot of different gold textures in the black um, on the different pieces. So they probably did that intentionally. Uh, it's not bad. I don't know if it's necessary. Could have done a little um, better detail maybe on the bottom of the boots and gave them some texture to them. Um, they're just, you know, flat boots. I know I'm kind of nitpicking here. just want to give you guys uh, kind of all the thoughts to it. I mean, overall, this is a beautiful statue, absolute home run. Definitely pick it up. Let me go put the exclusive head on. So the exclusive head, uh, this helmet is actually a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. Um, seeing all the pictures and reviews from people uh, before I got mine made me think that, you know, the obviously the, the, the uh, regular uh, unhelmeted head is absolutely beautiful but this is really well done and uh it does add something to her to her character now this head is in the style of you know the the kree um the alien race that where she you know uh, derives most of her powers from uh and the helmet was really only used in her first captain marvel comic book series 
since then they've gotten away with it and uh every time she's gone into battle now she never has the head on she's always without a mask um i'm sorry without a helmet on she always is and, and she's without a mask or anything like that she's always you know barefaced like uh like that What else I like about this, too, is that you can see the colors are different, which is, uh, I think, a really nice detail that statu that Sideshow did. Sorry about the, uh, the jittery camera there. But the, the helmet, since it's supposed to be armor and I'd assume some kind of metal, it actually is the same color as the metal on her hips. And the rest of the fabric, or the rest of the reds, since it's a, a fabric, her gloves... You know, her boots uh, and the cape and, and the shoulder pads are more of a maroon, um, satiny look to them, being a fabric. So I actually really like that detail that Sideshow did uh, to make the two kind of metal reds the same color. Really, really nicely done. And they did the same thing with the gold, too. This gold has a slightly, maybe more metallic look. So I think it's, and the, the, everything on this is painted perfectly. There's not a line out of place. Everything's exactly where it's supposed to be. Uh, Sideshow really hit a home run with this one. Well done. Well done. All right, let me uh, start her up on a shelf. We'll put a, another statue next to her so you can get more of a size comparison. Okay, well, hopefully this gives you uh, a fairly decent size comparison. Um, so I've got obviously the OG Thor, which is a very well-known quarter-scale statue. So you can, and everybody knows how tall he is. Um, you know, 30, I don't know, 34 inches or something ridiculous. Uh, and then I kind of, this is, that is where she's going to be displayed. So I'm going to get this whole, this whole row here is going to be the Guardians of the Galaxy lineup. Um. But, and then there she is by a uh, half-scale Wolverine, the legendary scale figure there, and the, uh, the original Miss Marvel. Um, but she's a tall piece. What's actually really nice about her, too, is unlike Thor, who, you know, you display him, you display him at, at waist height, chest height, and uh, you really lose a lot of the piece. you got to have him low. Her is, she's almost perfect at, at waist, chest height. The way she's looking at you, um, she almost lines up perfectly. So you really get to enjoy the enjoy the statue. It really looks like she's coming at you. Really, really nice piece. I can't wait to get this uh, Guardians of the Galaxy line from Sideshow. It's going to be awesome. Got the Hot Toys quarter scale group that's been uh, holding the place of of these statues for a long time. So really excited to get that line. I think it's going to be uh, I think it's going to be a really nice nice lineup from Sideshow. And Got the uh, first appearance of Captain Marvel there as well. All right, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Appreciate the you guys watching, and please comment with uh, with what you guys think of the statue. Thanks. Have a good night.